Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. Uh, I just got on the scene here. I saw this pelican last night and he wasn't looking well. And I saw, saw him again today and I thought, man, he is really not good, doing well. And I'm thinking, should I call this in? Well, I ran into a permanent, a permitted wildlife rescue person and I'm gonna try to assist in the rescue of this uh, pelican that's not doing very well right now and he's gonna be if we can uh, get him we're gonna t he's gonna be taken to a wildlife rehabilitation uh, facility so stay tuned right here in your backyard you never know what you're gonna find So this all occurred in Pinellas County at Fort DeSoto Park uh, near Tampa, Florida, on the Gulf Coast side of Florida. Really beautiful place. There's a pier close by, and on the pier are so many signs warning about the hazards of fishing and leaving fish guts to uh, wildlife in general and particularly in pelicans. It's never a good thing to uh, feed wildlife of any kind, and it teaches them many bad habits. And I'm going to do some more videos uh, looking into that here in the future. I observed this brown pelican the day before and again today, and it's obvious that uh, he's not doing well and needs uh, some kind of rehab or assistance. So we'll see how this unfolds. I've volunteered to help out and the very kind lady told me that what I needed to do was throw this towel over the top and then we could grab it and put it in a secure cage um, that will uh, protect it until we can get it to a rehab facility and be checked by a doctor. It was only later that I noticed that it was a Harley Davidson towel. Oh, sorry. Let's get him yeah. Yeah. up here. Yeah, just put him up there. Um, oh. 
Birds and Helping Hands is a nonprofit in our area that comes out and rescues birds and um, takes them to either Seaside Seabird Sanctuary or another place. And I was just down here, I wasn't on duty, and I saw this pelican. So I called the rangers because I didn't have my net, and the rangers came thinking that he was sick and they were just going to be able to take him by the on him. And so now we got him, thanks yep. to your yep. husband. <laughs> An impromptu uh, rescue of wildlife here at uh, Fort DeSoto Park in Pinellas County. All right. All right. I, I wasn't on duty. I didn't have my shirt. Well, this has been an exciting uh, two weeks here down on the Florida Gulf Coast. Like I say, I always say on my channel, you know, you never know what you might find. And uh, I had the opportunity to help out here, um, experience what it's like uh, capturing uh, wildlife to get them to rehab. My first time uh, grabbing a, a pelican. And one of the things I was told when, when I got him was to, uh, when I grab his bill, make sure I put my fingers inside it because you don't want to grab the bill and close it because these birds actually breathe through their mouth. So I put my hand uh, inside, let them clap on it a little bit, secured the bird, and then we were able to get them into its transport chamber. Uh, and he's going to be transported to uh, uh, a rehab facility with veterinarians that are experts on doing this. So it'll be really interesting find out what they find and, and if this bird gets uh, gets released back in the environment. So remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and uh, leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.